My dear friends, everything we suffer, every attack of the enemy, don't you know that God is preparing you for the next attack? Every attack teaches us how to stand. And how to build ourselves up on our most holy faith. We learn as we go from one attack to the next attack. It is a lesson learned. You are to pay attention to how you won the victory. Iron sharpens iron. In our time of peace. When we're eating the butter and the honey on the bread. When we're eating the meat of the words of God. God is building up our most holy faith. The Holy Spirit of God is preparing you for your next attack. He will prepare you for every attack of the enemy. Because he the Holy Spirit of God, and by eating the Word of God, He is building you up to be a mighty warrior, a soldier of Christ. A prayer warrior will win more battles in prayer. Pay attention to everything you did to win the first attack. There is victory through our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Be strong in the Lord. Strong in the faith. Be brave. When we are waiting for a battle to hit, then it's too late. If we don't know how to handle things then our emotions will handle you. Never act in the heat of the moment. It is best to be silent and wait on the Holy Spirit of God to give you the words to say. Church, I have discovered that there are ways to prepare for the unpreparable moments. And it works. When we eat as much of the word of God as we can eat, it will build us up. Listen to other people. There are people of faith. They're speaking that good word over you. That have testified, gave testimony after testimony of how they have won the victory. And when you have won the victory, you'll testify, have you won the victory? How you overcame, how God brought you through something that you did not think that you could go through it. That it was something so horrible, so unimaginable, that it would put fear in the hearts of anyone that had to endure what you had to endure. You see, we go through these things because they're building us up. If you won that victory... You are to know that if you made it through that, that God brought you through something that you just did not believe that you could endure, that it was the worst thing that could ever happen to you. Well, when you won that victory and you're eating that good word of God and iron is sharpening iron, then God is preparing you for the next battle. You are to know that if God brought you through that, he will bring you through whatever is coming your way next. And know this also, whatever snares that the devil lays for you, your enemies will be caught within their own traps, within their own snares. Be strong. Be brave. Knowing the Lord God is with you. Deuteronomy 31 and 6. The first thing, the very first thing in the heat of battle, 
you will not need to fight. That's where we make our mistakes. We think we have to do this, we have to do that, and all you're doing is spinning your wheels. That is a lesson I learned the hard way. There were things that I thought that I wanted God to do that I believed that I had to go out there and I had to do this and I had to do that, trying to make things happen because I prayed about the, the situation I was in. But thought that I had to go out there and I had to make these calls and I had to knock on these doors and I had to do this. And then in the end of that day, I found out all I was doing was adding trouble to trouble that I was just spinning my wheels when I didn't have to do anything. All I had to do was sit at home, pray, trust God, pray about it, and wait on God. But I didn't want to wait. I thought I could make things happen on my own. And I tell you what, Brother Preston certainly can testify to that. He has done the exact same things, and I know you have too, because it is human nature for us to think that we can handle things instead of trusting God with the situation. We put all that fear in us, thinking, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? How is this going to work itself out? This is just too much. I'm going to have to do something. No, you only are spinning your wheels. Just wait on God. Pray about it and wait on God. Sometimes the situation will work its own self out uh, for the good. And you'll find out it wasn't as bad as you thought it was. Because that old devil, he'll put a magnifying glass on it. He'll make it seem like it is so big that this trouble is so big that you cannot handle it. That no one can handle it. You don't know where to turn. You don't know what to do. You don't know who to call. Yeah, you do. If you would have prayed about it. Called on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Trusted God. Because all along, God had been building you up, eating the word of God. He had already been preparing you for your next attack. But you weren't paying attention. We are to have faith to trust God in the storm. Always remember the victory you have already won, how God brought you through to the victory in Jesus Christ's most holy name. Church, I tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. In your time of peace, in the time that you're in prayer, in the times that you are eating the words of God and building up your most holy faith, so that the next time you will know exactly what to do in the time of decisions, pray, and God will give you the words to say. And be sure you say them in love and not in the heat of the moment. For a soft answer will turn away wrath. Remain calm. Proverbs 15, 1 and 2. Proverbs 24 and 27, prepare. The Lord will prepare me for battle. This is what I say in prayer. This is how I pray when I am praying. I always ask the Lord to prepare me for battle. Fit me, O Lord, with your armor. Order my steps. Go before me. Prepare the way that I must go. Shed your glorious light of the gospel of peace in the dark, so I may see clearly, O Lord. Lift up your shield over me. Guard me with your power. For in my Lord is my victory. Lead me on, Almighty God. In Jesus Christ, most holy name I pray. Amen and amen. Let the church say amen and amen. I always pray that prayer. It is always in me because I know it's going to be the Lord that's going to prepare me. I know he'll fit me with his armor. I know without a shadow of a doubt he will order my steps. I know that he is for me and not against me. I know that he will shed his light that I may see clearly. I know that he will lift up his shield over me, his hedge of protection. I know he will guard me with his power. I know this to be true. This is how I have won the victory 
through my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ, every time. I pray that you will know without a shadow of a doubt that God is preparing you to stand strong in the heat of your battle. And I pray that your faith will fail you not, for there is no fear in faith. God bless you today, my dear precious friends. In Jesus Christ, most holy, holy, holy name we pray. And let the church say amen and amen. I love you, my dear precious friends. Have a blessed and victorious day today. In Jesus Christ, most holy name you pray. And let the church say amen. Church, God is preparing you. Iron sharpens iron. Remember how you won the battles before you. It teaches you a lesson learned, how to stand, how to have faith, how to win. You trust God, and he will make the way every time. Have a blessed day, church. I love you, my dear precious friends, and I thank God for each and every one of you. Keep me in your prayers. You remain in mine. See, church, that's the lesson that we have been learning. That's how, what the Holy Spirit of God has been teaching us. This is how he has been ordering our steps to pray. 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 You don't know the power of prayer. Prayer is powerful. And eating the word of God. Those are the ways that the Holy Spirit of God will build up. Build us up. God is building up Zion. He is preparing us. He has equipped you and I with everything that we need to stand and to win the victory through our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Pay attention to what God is teaching you. Pay attention to the scriptures that he is putting in you the scriptures that are always in your mind and on your heart. Pay attention to what he's trying to teach you. He is trying to teach you how to stand. He is building up your most holy faith. Just pay attention. Amen. God bless you, church.